Today, we are doing a build and review on the 462 piece set number 60398 family house with electric car. But if you watch my store haul videos, then you will know we are actually doing a rebrickable model today. So let's get into it. Welcome to Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon and today I have a super unique special video for you all. And today we are not doing a build and review on the family house with electric car. That's only a 462 piece build and that would be boring as crap. Who wants to see that? Raise your hands. No. So what we are doing instead is we are doing a rebrickable model from Brick Artisan. If you watch my channel for a while, you will know I really like their builds. I like the way that they do things. So when it came down to trying to find some weird little modular housing to go up by the beach between the forest to kind of like break it up and give it some texture, I went onto their page on rebrickable.com and of course I found a few models that I would like to build and we're going to build them in the coming week on the channel. The first one that we're starting off is with the family house and the electric car. Now this set to me is like I said it's very boring. I mean there isn't much to talk about. I guess the electric car is kind of cute with the teal and the white. It's kind of classic. There is a lot of big window panes with the set, so you can make like a nice greenhouse garden in the, in the front of your family house. And then just really basic open back play structure. I mean, if this was a set for you to put into the Lego City, it wouldn't be possible. Now, it does have a lot of really cool pieces because it does have that crosswalk sized road plate without the lines. And that could be really useful for our, our Lego City. And a really cool thing is, is it does have an electric charging station for your electric car. So, you know, there is some cool things about the set. But the coolest thing is, is going to be the rebrickable model on the set. And before we get into doing the rebrickable model on this set, I want to give you guys a quick update on the whole Funko sorting organization ordeal. By taking you into the garage and showing you guys the final product, I was able to go in and get a whole bunch of sets moved and get all the Funkos put away and then get the garage reorganized. And I think it's really cool and I really want to share that with you guys really quick. So let's go hop over into the garage and I'll show you around really quick and we'll come back and continue to talk about this family house with electric car rebrickable model. So starting off, I did put a little Funko display on top of my new upright freezer. Nothing too big. These are like the collectibles I wouldn't want really out of the box. Besides the ones that are, are out of the box. And then I just got these guys up there. You guys have seen those in the background before. But what's really cool here is the display that I made on top of my refrigerator here. Look at that. Now, as you guys know, I did have the Falcon in my hallway where I do do my studio work at but every time the door closed it closed hard and I was just waiting for that thing to slide off the shelf and yeah that's 7,000 pieces I don't want to put back together so after all the organization I was like I'm putting the Falcon in the garage on top of the refrigerator next to the ridiculously large gunship I think the two overly large UCS sets would look beautiful together and Sure as hell, they really do. So that's cool. Like I said, I wanted to move all the Funko up on that shelf. That's exactly what I did. The holiday shelf is the same. We don't really worry about that. But here's where the big difference comes in, right here. As you guys know, where the Darth Vader's head is, we had two shelves of Funko. Like I said, I wanted to remove those shelves. So thus, I did. So now, there is no Funko on this wall anymore it is gone and by doing so i was able to put some batman sets with batman i think that's really cool 
and then continue out the speed champions. Now I have room for speed champions when they come out. And the cool thing is, is when you come out and you look at the LEGO City, you don't see Funkos all against the wall. That was just too much. But, you know, that's what I had for my working area when I had my working area there. Now it's City, it's different. A little bit of a teaser, guys. This is where the model we're building will be going. I did have Funko down on that shelf right there. That's gone. And the Funko I had up here on these two shelves, it's gone. Now I'm just trying to figure out a way to do this shelf area better. And when I do, I'll do it. But yeah, that's the end of the Funko project. I did get it done. And I do think that looks really cool. It's nice to have Funko in two general areas. Not all over, mixed in with the Lego. That was doing too much. Now let's get back to that Rebrickable model. It's really funny to be thinking about how we're doing all this with the Funko. And at the same time, I literally have a Funko order coming from UPS. <laughs> That's why we had to, to, to do that whole video and project. is because they're never going to stop making Funko. They're, still, they're not going to make... You know, they're not going to quit making exclusive products, and we're going to want to keep collecting. I don't buy generic Funkos anymore. I only buy ones that say so-and-so exclusive. That way it keeps the collection down, and if they're important, then I'll get them. The only exception to the rule is, is if they make a series of Funko. Like, if they made a, a five Funko series of, like, each prequel movie, I would totally buy into that. Same thing like with when they did Return of the, of the Jedi. They made like seven Funkos for them. I bought them all. So that's the only exception to not buying exclusive is if there's a series. But other than that, I'm only buying exclusives. I don't... I, it's getting to be too much, as you guys can see from that project. So getting back into the repurkable model, let's kind of show you what we're looking at with this model. So here is the model that I am talking about. Now, it doesn't look like too much in the pictures, but I really do think that this is what we want for the LEGO City. The thing is, is those are usually digitally enhanced or digital photos of the actual LEGO set, and so you can get an idea by the instructions and then go from there. And what I've usually found out is, is because of that, the models come out way better than you could have ever have guessed. So this is the plate that I took out of the LEGO City. It's your typical 32 by 32 Mills plated 10 by 10 plate. And as you guys can see, we have the beach front, well, we have the forest front with a little tidbit of city. And what we're going to do is we're going to brainstorm throughout the day. This is off camera. And I'm going to see if I want to line up this building, 16 studs in the center and have 8 left over on each side. Or if I want to put it over to one side or the other and have enough room for like a double carport or something. So basically, if I leave 8 studs on each side of the plate, I, I can do something like I did with the other house, the first one we ever did with the cozy house, and put like a water slide or some type of like fun kid feature in there. So I got to see if I want to do that. I do know for the other one we are doing, I do have a kid feature that is going to be shared between the other house that I currently have from the cozy house model and the model that we are going to build again from Brick Artisan. So I got to see how I want to do that. I got to think throughout the day, look at the model and really think about what do I want to do. Because I could easily use those non-crosswalk road plate pieces and make a really cool driveway going by, you know, into the house. So I need to think about this and you guys will see what I decide when we get to the review portion of this video. Now with these models, we are just going to do a review portion and a putting it into the Lego City portion. There will be no build portion because there's really nothing to, to, to talk about. And the reason is, is because we have all of our parts sorted. I did that off camera last night. You know, we got bricks. We got odd shaped pieces. We got plates. We got windows and doors. We got one, one by blocks. And then over here, 
I have everything set up with the smaller pieces like household goods right there and plates and all types of oddball stickers but these are the plates I'm talking about make a driveway with these or something but I would like not to waste these because these are really you know kind of hard to find but I do have extra road plates I can use to kind of give me that driveway sensation if I want to go that route because this is this house being a little bit on the modern side where the other two are going to be kind of more on the Victorian old school side I want this one to kind of blend in more with the Lego store and the city than I do the forestry Victorian area thing that I'm doing it's all textures and colors for a Lego city to be honest with you but for this I want to be kind of modern so not too much off-road like with the other ones but somewhere in between it is a beachfront house that's the main thing that I'm trying to convey here. So with this, everybody, stay tuned. We'll be back here for the review, and you guys will see what we could decide and what we come up with. Okay, so we go from this picture that was enough to sell the set to what I have decided to do with it. And without much talking, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Now, figuratively speaking, from the picture to here, you can already see, looking at the two, the garage is on the left side, and on my model, the garage is on the right side. And then you can also see that I also made a full 16 by 16 road plate for the driveway, so you could get two cars in this driveway. Another thing that you'll notice between the original model and my model is I don't have two windows on the side like in the model in the picture and instead I got the other window on this side and we'll get into that more here in a moment. So this is the model in general just to give you guys a twirl around. You can see how I made the road plate and a half driveway. We'll you'll see why that's as big as it is here in a minute but then I do have this really lovely soccer battle going on in the backyard I think that is a really cool detail that came with the set I did remix the minifigure so they are all repurposed even though there is a child with a beard but you know all those hormones and chicken these days everyone's growing up a bit too fast and the cool thing is I did put a minifigure inside of the car even though you can't really see him, but that's his dad getting home from a busy day of work. So getting into the house itself, there is not much modifications to the upper level. I do like the solar panels up here. And then here we have what looks to be a TV on the wall with a bed, phone, game controller, and maybe another little bed over there. That's pretty original. Now our first modification to the set comes over here. Now on the original model, this would probably be over here and this stuff over over here. But on this model, it's backwards because of the stairs. The stairs was the hardest part to integrate when I flip-flopped the entire set. I might not have done it correctly, but it is what it is. I guess one little issue is, is that the closet is directly in front of the stairs, so you're going to have to kind of be careful to get your stuff into the closet. I guess I could always switch this window out with that and fix it that way. I might actually do that. So let's go on to the next level and see what I did there. Now here on the next level is where you're going to see the most amount of change. You can see in this picture we have a bathroom over here, a kitchen, a dining room table, looks to be a sofa, and some stairs. On this model, going in the orientation that it has it you could see my stairs are flip-flopped with my bathroom my bathroom is now on this side my stairs are on that side but I did keep the kitchen table and couch over on those ends and that's why I, I took a, a window and put a window here so you have nice lighting for your dining and yet a wall here because you don't need a wall with the stairs same thing with the bathroom. If, if I didn't move the windows, you could see everybody in the shower doing their dance. And you don't really want to see that. 
So I put a solid wall there. So I split up the solid walls for that reason. Other than that, the kitchen looks pretty much the same as it does in the photos. And then coming in over here, you can see the bottom level. And now let's put that in the correct orientation on my plate. And you'll see that it's backwards. There we have the driveway with the family car. And it looks like the downstairs is actually kind of like a greenhouse room. It's really cool. I really like it. I made sure to add all of the greenhouse elements and everything of the original designer. There is an electric car charging station. I think that's pretty dope. And then you come around and we can see more into that nice greenhouse room now that it's lit up. So that is the model. I wanted to make sure the beachfront was beachfront and there was a road between the Lego store and this to kind of make sure I don't block the windows. It does go back together. Super simple. The only complaint I would have with the set is these curtains right here, or this, these archways. They are very easy to bump into and break. So when, you, when you're putting it on the floor, if you're not careful, you can easily break them off with that part of the floor. So now let's take a walk out into the garage and let's drop it into the Lego City. And coming on in, take a look. Now I definitely will move that palm tree and turtle and stuff, obviously. But look how good that is looking with these small little buildings. I have one more to put in right in between these two. Video coming soon in the week. But I think that looks really, really, really good. It's coming around here for you guys to see the back. I do need to finish putting off some plates and stuff. I'll do that off camera. But you can see where the cars can roll in right off the street into the driveway. This is the last city-ish building until we get into the more rural stuff. So if this is your Airbnb, you still have pavement access to the city. Anything beyond that? Well, no you don't. So yeah, I think this looks really cool. Now let's uh, wrap up this video. Okay guys, so that wraps it up for the rebrickable model of the family house and electric car. This set is new as a 2023, and to me, the set is pointless. But when you go on Rebrickable.com, you will see that there is plenty of Rebrickable models, and it is an excellent part kit when combined with other sets to do what we did. Honestly, what we did was just basic. It can get so much better. The more sets or the more bricks you add, all you got to do is go to Rebrickable.com and pull up the set by its set number and then go through the alternate builds. You guys would be very surprised what this boring, lamish set can actually turn into. But I liked this model and I'm very happy I did it. And I really think it adds an extra little bit of texture to the Lego City. So... This is a definite recommend. Each set was $60 a piece. Instructions were around eight. So for $130, I think that's perfect. Finishing out this video, I just want to quickly say I'm not live on Twitch right now. If for anybody that watches my videos and goes over and watches me on Twitch, I just want to apologize if you've been going on, seeing if I'm on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I don't do Saturday no more. It's just not worth logging on in the afternoon to build Lego for nobody. It's just, it's not worth it. So, I only do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But the thing is, is we had a loss in the family and the loss is very close to me and it's something that I have to work with and support and be there for my family. So I'm just not in the mind space to be live on Twitch right now. As it is, trying to get these builds done is hard enough. My priorities are with my family, of course. So if you guys haven't seen me on Twitch, that's part of the reason why. Before, I had nothing to build. Now I have stuff to build, but now I have this that I'm going through. On that one, everybody, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Drop your comments down below on what you think of this rebrickable model and, what you, and 
what you think about the changes that I made to make it work for my needs. Drop them comments. Thank you for watching and you all have a good one.